and we had something happen to us this week that we're going to be sharing that will be changing our lives for the rest of our life. So it's going to be nice and sweet and salty. I'm going to miss living near Heathrow. Yeah. Well done. More stuff cleared. Oh, there we go. Dirty fries. I pop them under the grill with cheese. So are you ready for our big news of the week? Guess what we've done? Good morning and welcome back to a new weekend vlog. We're just heading out the door. We're just getting ready to go to friends. So I just wanted to let you know that it's going to be a weekend vlog about friends and doing nice things. And I'm about to prepare some gifts. And we had something happen to us this week that we're going to be sharing that will be changing our lives for the rest of our life. Big, big news. Um, there seems to be a lot of big news lately, doesn't there? We've got a lot of changes going on. Anyway, um, yeah, we're heading out to friends. I'm gonna tell you more about that on the way. Um, for friends, I wanted to make up some gifts and I was trying to think about it. And then I came up with a really good idea. I've been watching this vlog recently and she makes really pretty drinks. So I have ordered a set of four really pretty drinking glasses from Amazon. Look how cute they are. It says on there, um, quality refreshing ice cold drink glassware. They are so cute. They do, they, actually they come with a really nice stand. It's like an, really like that. Might keep that for paint parts. Um, they do come with colored reusable straws. However, I'm not gonna use the straws. I am, going to be replacing them with gold reusable straws and a really cute matching spoon so that the drinks can be matched it was actually the spoons i store i saw first and then had the idea look it's a heart aid what did you say it was um, i thought it was a bum bum spoon bum spoon it's a heart spoon i wouldn't buy my friends bum spoons that's horrible um if ever you're doing a group of friends a gift, have a look for things like that you can buy in packs because it's a really reasonably way, reasonably priced way to do gifts. So we've got a cute little straw and the spoon, heart spoon, and I'm going to wrap that up with some string. It's just going to look really cute. Look how organised this is. I recently, in one of my Patreon studio vlogs, sorted out this whole craft box and I put all of my string, which was just floating around, into this big Ziploc IKEA box uh, bag. The whole box here was just literally full. So um, look how much better that looks now. Super happy. Onwards with the decluttering. There we go. That looks really sweet. And then I've got some really pretty gift bags I'm going to put them into. I've been cutting out freehand hearts from some watercolour paper and I've stuck them onto the bags. I think they look quite pretty. Really pretty tissue paper and then the cups are inside. And I've baked a jalapeno and cheese sourdough this morning. Oh, and I nearly forgot something really exciting. I made yesterday a crunchy, what should we call it? A chocolate crunch, crunch pretzel bar. I don't know. It's like Rocky Road, but with pretzels. Um, but I will, I made it last night really quickly. So I will insert how I made it. It's really, really good. I completely forgot to start this. I wanted to share. I am trying something new. I am doing like a Rocky Road, but it's gonna be extra crum uh, crunchy and I'm gonna have a secret ingredient. So far I've melted together six bars. I'm making a double batch, six bars of chocolate half milk half dark i've also done um 250 grams of margarine and six tablespoons of golden syrup now with the crunchy ingredients to take 200 grams or thereabouts of digestives and i am going to crush them up into the chocolate mix i don't want them too crummy we want some larger bits as well. I've taken this off the heat by the way now, it's nice and melty. Gonna mix those all in. And then, I'm going to add some cornflakes. And we're gonna stir those in so that everything 
is mixed well with the chocolate, try not to crunch them up too much. And I'm also going to add some raisins and glacé cherries. It was still quite chocolatey, so I just added in three more crushed digestives. I'm gonna make sure it's all mixed up and then pour it into my baking dish. I'm actually making this a couple of days early. So I want this to cool properly and we've got a busy day tomorrow. So I'm making this ahead of time and then I will finish making it tomorrow evening. It just means the main part of it's done. I'm pushing it all in the corners. This looks so good. And I'm gonna pop this to cool down and then it will go in the fridge overnight. It'll go nice and hard. And then I've just taken some chocolate. I like a mix of milk and dark chocolate. Melt it all down and then pour over the top. I got this idea originally from chocolate tiffins. We love the chocolate tiffins when we used to go to Costa. I haven't been to Costa for ages, but if we do ever go, that's our go-to treat. So um, just pour over the chocolate and then top it with the pretzels and then leave it in the fridge to cool off. It's such a lovely topping. I really love the salty pretzel crunch mixed with the sweetness of the chocolate. It's a really, really good combo if you haven't had it before. Look how delicious that looks. So it's like Rocky Road, but I've got, um, oh, is your can just in <laughs> Um, but I've got pretzels on top, so it's gonna be nice and sweet and salty. Glad we're not on that side of the motorway. It looks busy over there, doesn't it? Yeah. Just going past Heathrow. Very busy. I'm gonna miss living near Heathrow. Aren't you? Uh, yeah, I mean, we love the airport, don't we? I love we it. just see the planes. Yeah. I just like knowing that we can be here really quickly. So, we are kind of trundling along on the M25, we're just going past Heathrow. We are going to Amanda's house today. Very excited. It just reminded me, you know that thing that you tell your kids about not meeting strangers online? And they're not strangers anymore, are they? I've been chatting online <laughs> with these girls since, I think 2012. We are members of The Dib, a Disney kind of, it's a UK planning forum for like people that like going to the States and Disney. And um, we all write, I used to, I think Amanda still does actually, I'm not sure, write up our trip reports. Um, I don't do the trip reports anymore since vlogging. I tried and I just couldn't keep up both, but I love them and I still read them back and look at all the photos. It's like keeping a diary of when you're on holiday. Uh, which airline's that going past? I don't know. I don't know. Tail looks like Lufthansa, but it's not, it's got red on it. I don't know that one anyone know what that one is so we're meeting with friends at Amanda's house today we're very excited um, we are also meeting with another friend that I haven't met before um, and then Lisa and Cheryl you know Lisa and Cheryl because I see them as much as I can not as regular as I would like to but I've done Boston with them both and um, services we meet regularly at South Mim services and um, we've done Disney with Lisa and her husband and we've got a road trip coming up with Lisa and her husband as well very soon. So I am so excited. Um, it's funny isn't it, because we have a WhatsApp group. I speak to these girls, apart from my sister, more than anybody else in the world probably. <laughs> I speak with them every day and I love them all to bits. So I'm really, really excited to properly hug Amanda and Nikki today. Um, because we've never seen each other before. But I'd love to know from you, have you got really close friends that you've never met before? Um, I'd really like to know because I don't think it's an unusual thing these days, is it? No, I think it's more common now. Yeah. I think if you've got interests as well, and especially with the, maybe the Disney community, I know a lot of people that do kind of meet up um, and, have, and get friends. What's well, they get friends? Do you know what I mean? Meet friends. I know what you mean. But you've got such big things in common. It started off for me a long, long time before this. I think even before I was with you, because of my scrapbooking, I had friends in scrapbooking communities online, like chat forums um, and that kind of thing. And we all used to read each other's blogs. 
Um, is there virgin going yeah, over? So. Oh, I'll be asking a few weeks. Um, yeah, so it's, I think I've done it since the early 2000s, I think. Probably actually, because it was before I was with you, wasn't it? What's that? It? Just the that journaling? I, yeah, no, the scrapbooking, oh, the scrapbooking friends. Yeah. yeah, how I met people and that. So, yeah, it's something I've done for a long time, but obviously you do have to be very careful when you meet people online. You have to be safe. Good morning. It's actually lunchtime. It's not quite morning. Um, we're really tired today. Um, we ended up filming a Q&A when we got back from our friends yesterday. We had such a lovely time, by the way. Um, really, really lovely. And you know what it's like when you're with friends as well? The time just flies by. It just went by so quickly. We got back home about half past seven last night, filmed a quick Q&A for our Lisa, um, Aid and Lisa do Disney YouTube channel. So um, Aid got up and edited that this morning. So if you're interested in that, it's um, Disney and personal stuff as well. We answered some fun questions. So that's on our channel now. So I'll leave a link to that. And um, we've been working. I'll show you what Aid's been doing. Aid's been painting some bits and pieces. We've got leftover paint, so we thought we may as well just make it look a bit nicer. I know that probably seems a strange thing to do when you sold your house, but <laughs> we've got the paint there anyway, so he's just given that a quick going over. I think he did one coat last weekend, so he's just doing, or he did, I think he did it below the picture realm, he's just doing above today. Um, what else? I defrosted something from the freezer, but I have no idea what it is. It says beef stew, but I think it's a pasta dish, so I'm about to go and heat that up. Oh, and I've been working on kits. I've been cutting up paper. I've been cutting our bits and pieces and the plan is to do the treat bags this afternoon that's what i'm aiming for and whilst working and whilst aids painting we've had this on the missing uh the lucy blackman case about a 21 year old lady that went missing in tokyo um british girl it's absolutely awful um just the thought of anything happening to your child and then in a foreign country as well where you've got like language and culture barriers um different things happening it's just really as a parent you just can't think of anything worse can you it's just really really awful um so i'm just listening to that at the moment i do quite like the kind of like the true life type of documentary type things so this is going to be lunch it says beef stew soup maybe i don't know but Oh, it's still a little bit frozen. It looks... I don't know. I think it's pasta. You've got a right mix in here. There's definitely no meat. There's beans, two types of pasta, carrots, and it's tomato-y. So I think it's going to be yummy. And I'm just going to smother it with cheese. And the freezer surprise is homemade minestrone soup. And naturally, I've covered it in cheese. It's been on a mission again to bring stuff down from the loft. These are all old boxes, aren't they? We haven't even got these things anymore. It's just a quick five minutes in the yeah. loft. Yeah, and the, the space in the recycling bin, so that's perfect, isn't it? Yeah. Well done. More stuff cleared. And I've got some stuff sorted for the bin for next week as well. Oh, have you ready already? To go. Yeah. What you found? Well, some offcuts of carpet. Yeah. Um, some. Do you remember your your unit? You had the the storage unit you had for, in the studio. Was all made up of planks of wood. I can't Do you remember. remember? A shelving unit. Uh, We've still got that, yeah. but it's all been broken down. Yeah. Haven't used it, so we're going to cut that up and that'll be Excellent. in the bin. Excellent. So I've just got some other bits there ready to go. I've got some clothes down ready for the next charity bag. Oh, can so I have a look? Where are they? They're mine. Oh, yours, okay. They're my clothes. I've got mostly excited, going to charity bag. Louis might like some of the t shirts. Are they a bit retro? Um, yeah, well, there's some sports ones and things like okay. that, so he might like those. But the rest I'll just put for charity. Oh, thank and you. I'm getting closer to being able to get to further stuff in the loft as well Ooh, um, so I think exciting. it's going to be really interesting you can see a lot of the kids old toys Aww. and bits and pieces of one of Louis shields in there I found that was there. <laughs> so there's boxes of toys yeah I think there's some Sylvania families I found oh, as well wow. Lots of them but I'm getting closer thank you I heard I thought you were pouring wine then uh, yes. <laughs> it's, it's about six o'clock Sunday evening and uh, yeah we've just nipped out really quick we had to pick up Ada had to pick something up from the office so we went for a little drive i am wanting to make something yummy we're both in the mood for sort of cozy food so anyone else love dirty fries oh 
Oh, you did it. Thank you. Happy Sunday to everybody. Sunday. Got my Sunday t-shirt on as well. Um, so I'm going to make um, fajita fries. I love a topped fry. I'm going to um, just make some like, you know, the, what you'd put inside a chicken fajita. But instead, I'm putting it on top of fries. And because I've got the oven on for fries or homemade wedges, I love this cutter thing. Um, pampered chef, goodness knows how many years ago. I'm going to make my potatoes for tomorrow and I'm going to do a thing with potatoes, um, double cooked potatoes and ratatouille tomorrow. I need to make, make my menu still for the week. Uh, oh, that potato's not very nice, is it? Um, I had well, dodgy potatoes. No, I had dodgy potatoes last week from Lidl and this yeah. week from Waitrose. It's all about the dodgy potatoes at the moment. How have you been spending your Sundays lately? Let us know. It's pouring with rain here, it's really horrible. So I'm just making my fajita sauce, just like I would, whoops, any other fajita sauce. So um, I've been on the phone to my, well, my dad and then my sister for half an hour. Dinner was ready on the side. So while speaking to my sister, I've had a glass of wine eating loads of cheese, and I've been hacking away at the dinner. So actually I've ended up having to use some of the potatoes for tomorrow's dinner because I've been eating them. So I've topped the wedgies with the veggie fajita bits, and then I'm just gonna slice off the cheese to go on the top. Our video's gone up tonight, the one where we've shared that we've sold the house. I'm just looking, what's, oh, what's that? Pan adder, it's making a noise. Um, the, video, the vlog where we shared that we sold the house has just gone up about just over an hour ago. And there's been so many lovely comments already and so many of you are taking the time to message and give us loads and loads of tips. I really, really, well we both really, really appreciate it. You are all so kind. Um, thank you. Sorry, I know I'm on the wonk. I need to dish up my dinner. Um, I just want to let you know we're so, so grateful. Um, I wanted to say the... The magical wonderland, I think it is. You're moving in four weeks and you haven't even started packing and you're going to Florida in 50 days. Oh my goodness, I don't know how you're doing it. <gasps> Have an amazing trip, by the way, and good luck with your packing. But I'm going to go through these after we've had dinner. I am so, so grateful to all of you. Thank you so, so much. There we go. Dirty fries. I pop them under the grill with cheese. They look so delicious. Good morning, happy Monday to you. I'm so glad we went out on our walk last night. We only ended up doing a couple of hours, but anything is better than nothing, isn't it? Um, sometimes it's just good to get out of the house. I'm opening up a parcel that arrived on Saturday whilst we were out. Um, it's a Mrs. Brimble parcel, and it's all my bits and pieces for the August kit. Look at these lovely stickers. They look so much fun. That's what August kit is themed like. I've got some other stickers in here as well. Um, talking about the video that went out yesterday as well, um, I'd mentioned about not really doing studio vlogs on this channel anymore, and there's a few people that are really upset. I'm really sorry. It's, it's a really tricky one because that's really what my channel used to be all about, and my channel's kind of evolved. And, you know... Obviously, loads of people talk about the YouTube algorithm. And then, so when I do these types of videos all the time, and then I throw in a craft room video, YouTube hates it. And it's so frustrating then. I mean, you, you can see my channel's small. I don't get huge amounts of views. I don't make masses of money on my channel. But then when I do like a craft sort of room video, and I've spent all day in here recording, and then it's taken me maybe three hours to edit, and I walk away with about four or five pounds that I've made on YouTube. And then it will also punish me for all my other videos <laughs> coming up because I've thrown in something a little bit different. And it does, it really puts you off doing it because I don't know about you, but would many of you work eight, nine hours for a fiver? I don't know. Let me know if, the, and then obviously be punished, say like then you had pay cuts then for the next few weeks because you've done something like that. Would it put you off doing it? Um, and I'd love to say it's not all about the money, but I still have wages, bills to pay, not wages, bills to pay, and it makes it really tricky. 
so sorry I'm just opening stickers it just feels like you're being punished for doing something you love um, so yeah it's a really really tough one YouTube if you aren't aware likes you to keep to the same content which is why we have Disney on a separate channel which is why I have my journaling on another channel so and my patreon is all about um, crafting and journaling and that kind of thing so it kind of belongs over there really with it but saying that I will still be doing the odd bits and pieces in here um, I spend most of my life in here I'm always in here um, but yeah so that's just why I thought I would mention it before so there will still be doing I will still be doing bits and pieces in here and especially leading up to the next few months with us um, packing up the house I'm going to be spending time in here as well these are the other stickers um, the tab tops but yeah I really hope you understand it's it's really frustrating it really is and we've got some little die cuts as well let's open one of these up but yeah it's a tricky one because everyone would love to say oh yeah I don't do it for the money but for me YouTube was always here to promote my business that's how I pay my bills through my crafting um so yeah it's a difficult one when you end up being punished for doing it because you're doing something else um yeah it's a tricky one these die cuts are so cute we've got little palm trees oops oh, there's loads in here little leaves they're so cute little flowers and journaling scrapbooking and all that is my passion so it will always be here with me got little flamingos there's loads of them actually loads and loads in this month's pack loads i've just dropped some as well um yeah so anyway i'm on coffee duty it's early in the morning it's already on a call so i'm going to put this away in a minute and i think i'm going to go and make some coffee i need to tidy up in here as well the aftermath of working yesterday oh and nikki got some goodies from the girls at the weekend Nikki my friend bought us these oat cakes um, let me know if you've had these before she bought the, us each a pack um, something from Staffordshire and apparently you put like bacon sausage and cheese in that in them and then you wrap them you make them warm first wrap them and apparently they're really really good what foodie things do you have from your region that's very unique to your area I was just thinking about it I don't think we've really got anything from around here Sorry, Hampshire, what are we known for? No idea. Um, but yeah, let us know if there's something that's distinctively sort of well known from your local area. Sorry, I've just got the washing machine on. Um, very quick menu for this week, um, all based around Louis. Louis's out tonight, so ratatouille for Aid and I. We've got some courgettes from Aid's mum and dad's garden. Sausage and mash tomorrow, chicken curry. Wednesday ribs we picked up some bargain ribs in Morrison's the other day that were yellow stickered so I've frozen them and fajitas I'm not sure about the weekend but yeah a few days of Louis friendly meals it's actually quite sunny now it is. isn't it feels nice to get out feels like we've been cooped up for days <laughs> feels really nice you did really well yesterday you got rid of so much stuff yeah Oh, yeah, actually, you took some photos of how the loft was before. Well, this is how you can appreciate how bad it was. You, well, yeah, you can't really tell, though, because there's still a lot of stuff up there. But yeah. there has a lot has come down. So I put some photos up. It, it's, I don't think it's really going to be beneficial seeing it. <laughs> you can see how bad it, it is, Because it doesn't really look, but there's been a lot of stuff that did come down. Should have just taken more photos. But we do, in our defence, we have stuff here from the people before they didn't clear everything out did they uh no not too much but there is most, some of, stuff. most of this is is ours so yeah but yeah you're very honest <laughs> ah. um we also made some trip trip um changes today actually um didn't we yes which we're really pleased about word of warning um i booked through hotels well, originally it was booking.com and then I changed to hotels.com because you get, when you've stayed extra, when you've stayed 10 nights, you get a night free and Rosen Inn wasn't coming up originally with them. So I changed yesterday because it was showing available. So um, I booked, I rebooked then with hotels.com and it was free cancellation. But what I didn't notice is that you're not supposed to, or they don't like you amending it. Hotels, booking.com was so easy. I changed it within seconds, mm. didn't I? 
um, but booking.com even though it was free cancellation and I just wanted to take one night off because we've made an amendment to our booking and so in theory cancel one night but leave the other it took me what half an hour yep. Um, it, with someone. it had to be done through an online chat who then had to call the Rosen in to ask for permission to cancel. It was so long winded. So I just wanted, she's cancelled the whole lot. I just wanted one night booked and, and um, I've ended up yeah cancelling the whole lot and I've actually ended up booking it with booking.com because it's so much easier. And the other thing, I noticed something. I did actually film this this morning oh, from yeah. my desk. Interesting fact, so I'm looking at Lake Buena Vista through Quidco, £63. This is on Booking.com and when I just go into Booking.com it's 58 So yes, be aware of those, um, of using Booking.com, Hotels.com, really read everything because sometimes it's free cancellation but they don't want you amending. Um, we're going to carry on walking and then should we share our big news this week there seems to be something changing every single week with us at the moment doesn't yeah, there yeah we're we'll doing that later yeah we'll yes. carry on walking and then we'll share with you in a minute yeah keep into concrete today because it's so wet everywhere we haven't got our wet friendly shoes on have we oh, oh, I, have. oh I haven't I just got my little adidas ones on they do not like the wet oh it's really sunny now this is so nice Fancy some blackberries for a snack. Do no, what in case they're peed on. Good point. I'll take these. Oh, the best ones. Oh, can you get those? They're always in non reaching distance, aren't they? It's like they know to grow up there. I can't reach the ones behind. Yeah, they look good ones, so they're really big. Do you hurt yourself? Yeah. I'm determined to get this one though. Well done. Your determination paid off. Just if we got bags. Oh, there's loads here. Look, they were a lot easier, those ones. No, I was going to eat them now. Oh, this okay. is our walking snack. Oh, okay. Nothing quite like a free snack. Nope. Mmm, they're so nice. You've got some good ones, haven't you? So are you ready for our big news of the week? Guess what we've done? You and me. You can say. You say. No, you say. <laughs> we've chosen a house. Yes. We've actually reserved somewhere. Yes. And we don't want to use the word bought yet, do we? Because it sounds... <laughs> I don't want to get our hopes up. Yeah, I really we've, don't. We've reserved. So, um, yep. It's the next big step. We've, um, it's a new build. I'm sure many of you would have guessed that by now. We were really drawn to the new builds, weren't we? I never thought I would. I always thought I'd go somewhere with character, but we shared quite a bit about that last week. We struggled finding anywhere. Yeah, we um, really have. That just ticked all the boxes. This one still doesn't tick all the boxes. But, but most of them. The important ones. Yep. And a lot more than any of the others have done. Yeah. So, yeah, we're really, really excited. I just also wanted to explain because obviously we sold and there was a lot of people from the States commenting um, about obviously them being in a rush to buy somewhere. It's quite different in the UK. You almost need to be, have sold in order to be taken seriously to then look elsewhere, don't you? Yeah, I mean, definitely with a new build. You have to 100%. have sold. You have to have had accepted an offer before you can reserve a plot. Yes. So that is a must. So you have to sell before you can even do anything. But even with regards to um, buying a second hands house, um, one particular house that we quite liked, it did tick a lot of our boxes. But you had to sell as well before he'd even consider looking at it. He wouldn't even let yeah, anyone look around until your house was sold. Mm. Um, there were some strange things going on with that one, wasn't there? Just a yeah. lot of things didn't add up and we've ended up not even looking at it. Even though it's months later, it's still for sale. <laughs> we've decided it obviously wasn't meant to be. But um, yeah, so that's our news this week. Yeah, so it's exciting times. It's kind of uh, uh, busy times as well. So lots and lots going on, but I'm sure we're going to share more. Yeah, the other um, thing I did want to share actually, um, just in case you weren't aware, with new builds as well, obviously you get to pick your kitchen and flooring and everything else. 
Only if you've reserved it before the roof goes on. Yeah, generally developers, if the roof has gone on, the choices have already had to have been made. Yeah, they've already had to order everything. Yeah, because they need to order to allow time, so of course they can obviously proceed with the build um, and hopefully to sort of to avoid delays. So we, for us, literally had a matter of, well... We've got about two weeks to go yeah. <laughs> till the roof goes on. So we've got some really big decisions to make very, very soon. Yes. It's nice though. Yeah, it's I might exciting. prefer this way around. Yeah, well, we're glad that... Yeah, because one particular one that we looked at, um, the d choices had already been made, hadn't they? Mm. And they wouldn't have been our choices. And that's really tough when you like the house, but the kitchen is almost the opposite of what you would choose. Yeah, and people say, oh, well, you could maybe change it in time. But then when you're looking at a new build, I kind of now seen you want it because it's a new build. Yeah. You want it yours. You are making those choices. So, mm. yeah. Yeah. So yeah. That, that... So exciting. Yeah. Um, I was going to share one more thing. Oh, no, I was just going to say, um, let us know if you'd like us to continue sharing us, like picking everything for the new build. Um, if you're interested and we'll carry on sharing if you are let us know leave a comment and also ideas that we're gonna have as well I think that's gonna be the yes. thing it's gonna be for us it's a new part of big big part of our, our life um, not only obviously sorting our house out mm. but moving to the new one yeah and we're quite happy to share the story so let us know if you'd like us to share with you any questions let us know we might do um, a video um, actually a &A. sometime yeah Q&A yeah. on like buying, selling, all that kind of thing. Anyway, we're gonna continue with this walk. But um, yeah, we're really excited <laughs> to finally share with you. It's a few days later, I completely forgot to finish the video. Um, so I wanted to thank you for watching, hope you've enjoyed it and also to let you know if you watched my huge wardrobe declutter video on Friday, thank you if you did. I just wanted to update you and let you know that um, I ended up getting rid of loads of stuff, my maybe pile all went and we got rid of between us a massive great big bin liner of clothes at the charity shop, we dropped it off. Um, the following day or Monday actually it went I'm just so so pleased um, we got rid of so much stuff so really really happy with ourselves um, we're still continuing with the decluttering and also to let you know that the selling on Vinted is going well I think I've sold 40 pounds worth so far and it's only been I think four days so I'm really really pleased and I've still got lots of stuff to list as well I'm going to keep listing stuff but thank you very much for your support we really really appreciate it and we hope you're excited about our news as well we look forward to sharing more and more of the story along with you take care have a great week bye